substance with ingredients that we found at the market today. So I'm just going to hand this over to you, Lorenzo. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you guys for being here. And uh, today we some day, we do some demo about the Pisana pizza. Pisana fritada. And uh, we do somebody out there has some, some question on how to do it, about to go, about I'm a very happy to answer this question. We only start to um, do one pizza at a time. <laughs> First, Lorenzo, can you tell us about what what kind of flour do you make the dough? What, what's your basic recipe for the pizza dough? I don't like to wipe this pizza plate too. Like a very, all the um, high gluten flour is not very good for people. I like to, I do with the basic flour, which is organic, it's better. And now, um, just olive oil. Salt and pizza. Very, very simple. The pizza is the best, most simple thing in the world. And, and I you can put any ingredients too. Maybe we have some. Uh, yes, I want you to talk about Josephine's olive oil. Josephine, oh, yeah, olive oil. This here is come from uh, uh, Sicily, the Mount Etna. It's the volcano. It's the, where the, the, the very hot ground there. And the olive oil is grow very, very well. And it's very, very good oil. You guys are going out there and buy it. It's very good. Has everybody tried it? She's just right over here. So yes, some samples there for you guys. Very good. Well, uh, is this that something? Yeah, let's, I think they're, they're looking pretty hungry. Okay. I think that's why everybody's here for the pizza. Thank you. <laughs> and again, if anybody has any questions, just raise your hand. I'll make sure to get the question for you so Lorenzo can answer it. Yeah. The this is squish the dough very well and expand a little flour in the bottom. So if your hand is that, that's a little wider. That's it. So now when we're at a pizza place and we see them throwing the dough up yeah, in the air, is that more for looks? Here. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> but now is that more for looks or is that really important to stretch the dough in that Yeah, way? it's very important. That's why they use I put in flour because they are uh, afraid of this. Make all. You know, when you have a little practice, you know you make all. And now how long did you let the dough rise before it got to this point? Just um, an hour, hour and a half. Okay. You can you can try the dough as a softer. You, when you do the dough, by the way, it's like art, like um, dry, not dry, it's art. But when it's raised, it's a little softer, you can work on it. You see how it's like this? It's as smooth as a baby's yeah. bottom? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now, you're doing this on a marble. Because Why do you use the marble? It's a smooth, uh, smooth, smooth surface. So you can do one. Uh, Stay still, you can do it in a four mica, on the top, you can do it. The most important you need to have some flour in the bottom. By the way, it's thick and... And this is just regular all-purpose flour that yes. you're using. I said it could be organic and better. You can use anything. I do even uh, some uh, people who have a problem with the gluten. Try to do some mix to get the, the people in on. They did the pizza too. So you tried a gluten-free pizza crust before? Yeah. And what kind of flour I do you try, use for that? I try, you know, you can use potatoes, you can use the beans, stuff, all kinds of stuff you can People are allergic to the Sure, sure. Mm, that's what it is. Okay, what do we have here? What do we can put in here? We got some... So you've got lamb mozzarella, sauce. mozzarella cheese on that? Yes. Excellent. Okay, mozzarella, some sausage. And that is lamb sausage from Brocker Sunshine yes. Harvest Farm out here in the courtyard. And some fennel. See, this is very easy to do it. And it's grilled fennel. We just uh, washed it, sliced it in half, put a little bit of olive oil and salt, and grilled it till it was some a little bit charred. olive oil. Add some a little salt on it. Just a little bit. <laughs> and how hot is the oven, Lorenzo? It's around uh, 800 degrees. 800 degrees, yeah. so it would be hard for us to do this at home in you our own oven. You can put your um, regular oven, if you have a wheat oven or a 
you can put a uh, you can buy a screen for a for the kids okay. and you should take the same thing. Okay. Take a little longer and then do the same job. Sure. Okay. And can you guys all see the oven that he has here? It says pizza party on the bottom, which I think is really great. And it's what we're a, having it's here a, it's a pizza party. We do build a brick out of kitchen. And he does have a flyer here too with pictures of all the different ovens he makes. It's a really great website where you can look at all these ovens. And this is a portable oven. He brought it on wheels, so it's kind of nice to have something like that for your backyard. We have another one in a big truck. All right. You can do anything you want. You can come all over. We got another pizza. Maybe we can do like a margarita pizza. Sure, and I know an important thing with making pizza that goes this fast yeah. is to have all your ingredients ready here. That's always yeah. very important, isn't it? While cooking, I'm doing it there. Okay. Sorry, we don't have too much room to put on the table. I gotta go on and out by the way. The most important thing for Italian pizza is light and soft. It's important. Light on the sauce. And the ingredients too. I notice you don't use a lot of ingredients on each piece. No, because, it, because the thing is, it's too fast. Either way, then, oh, if you put too much ingredients, the pizza will not work for Okay. And this is just crushed tomatoes that you're using. Yes, it's not tomatoes. seasoned at all. It's just tomatoes. Just tomatoes. It's a And now I have a question about San Marzano tomatoes. A lot of times you go to yeah. those Neapolitan pizza places and they always use San Marzano tomatoes. I'm going to go. Sorry. It's okay. Uh, what's, what's important about San Marzano tomatoes? Why is that kind of a real Italian pizza Because tomato? they're growing a Campania. Campania is the real where the pizza board. And the San Marzano is the, the area where San Marzano is. Okay. Not the Chinese area. They are very important for the pizza play people, their summer time tomatoes. And I think it's interesting that they're on the, the arc of taste for the slow food. Yeah. That San Zarmazano tomatoes are very indigenous to that area and yeah. important to that area. Yeah. Any questions so far from anyone? Yeah, the pizza is great. Look at it. Oh, look at that's gorgeous. For four people, you can have uh, one pound of flour, tablespoon uh, oil, olive oil, a uh, teaspoon of salt, and, and a little bit of uh, half a teaspoon of yeast. It's very, very simple. Especially with this warm weather, the race is like nothing. You keep it in a warm place, hour and a half later, you have a good stuff. This is very simple. You guys see how fast the pizza cook? Because that was what, 30 seconds maybe? Just a little less, a little more. Than a more. little more than 30 seconds. Do you use a specific type of wood for your oven? Yes, I do hardwood. In this case, specific is a, a red oak. It's any hardwood is good. Don't use the pine, don't use the kind of stuff it's not good. It's going to do with the heat, and then there's a resin on it, and it's not going to get it And when you start with the oven, you have a good, uh, uh, you know, liquid stuff with it. Just the newspaper. The newspaper is the best thing. So no uh, lighter fluid? No, no lighter fluid. Which oil. I think is a bad idea anyway. No lighter fluid. Spinning the pizza inside. Exactly. Spinning the pizza. Because of the, the, the fire from one side, other way you can put the pizza on one side. You just, you know, gradually turn the pizza a little bit to the front. Because if you can see the wood is all on one side of the oven? No. You just leave you it in there, he says. <laughs> 
think about fresh mozzarella cheese versus the the little bit more aged grated mozzarella? It's better. Fresh mozzarella is better? Fresh mozzarella. It's better than anything. The raw, the pizza, and the bread, and the caprese. And now, sometimes I buy a bunch of fresh mozzarella and I know that doesn't last very long in my yeah. fridge. Can you freeze it? You can. You know, it's, it's nice. After it's nice, good, it's without a way, but you know, yeah, with the ice and with the, the crystal, it's going to be going a little bit to the milk. Sure, sure. Can everybody see if I put the egg on there? Just right on top of the pizza. So you just put one on. One on. One egg. It's a good for the food, but we have a lot of pizza. Okay, so make sure everybody gets a little bit of yolk on it. Two eggs. And these eggs are also from the market from today. The market. We get them from Brockers. We, we have everything from the market. And I also want to say too, with, with fresh market eggs, it's amazing, and sometimes they're a little more expensive than you might get at Rainbow or some other stores, but it's really worth that's it right. because a fresh market egg is completely different from an egg that's been sitting at the supermarket shelves for up to a month. So it's definitely worth to try to, to spend the money on them. I'll pick up this pizza for this little danger. <laughs> Any other questions, guys? I will answer them. Oh, can you introduce your, your assistant to us, oh, too, please? This is my nephew. He's just visiting from Italy. And he's a, he's a pastry chef, Italian pastry chef, and a master gelato maker. He's just a kind of the pizza maker and the tomato maker. I'm making work here. today. <laughs> Then a little action of it killed nobody. 
<laughs> just the uh, organic stuff.
Sometimes I do a lot. I, 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 I freeze with problems. I you know for myself, I'm not gonna do for one spot. Okay. Right, right. It's easier to make several if you're gonna make them out. No. Then the mother thing I don't use the machine, I do it by your hand. I do fifty pounds at a time. And you you need it all by hand? Yes. You need a little muscle. That's just a little out a workout too. Right, it's good it's it's good therapy too, to yep. roll out dough and to need it. This is the panel of the Everybody see in the mirror? I don't think there's many things prettier than a, a wood fired pizza right out of the oven. Yeah. <laughs> Grazie. Ciao. Si. Sì. Di dove sei? Io sono delicata. Sei amica di Gesù. Dove sei? Dove sei finita di Catania? The lady who sells the, the oil, she's from Mr. Khan. Is that where you're from also? No. Small world. <laughs> so we got cherry tomatoes, black olives, and basil. a lot of basil. He's wondering if you put the yeast in dry when you mix it, or do you uh, put it in water? Fresh yeast is better. Otherwise, you, when you use these to put a little uh, bowl of water, warm water, put it inside there five minutes, then it will add them on the door. And now, why do you put the basil on whole rather than slicing it up? More uh, more. Uh, <laughs> it looks nicer. <laughs> yeah, it looks nicer. <laughs> People can see it's a basil. <laughs> yeah. And they get a big bite of basil, yeah. explosion of basil. Yeah. So well, let's use this. Uh, let's make some sauce with that yeah. ginger. Yes. Yeah. And I liked how you said with the lamb sausage that we have, it's kind of like gyro meat. Yep. Yeah. It'd probably be fun to maybe drizzle it with a little dill yogurt sauce. I do a lot of ranch chicken pizza. Ranch chicken pizza. You think we are going to have a chicken today, other way we can... Or a... Um, um, buffalo chicken pizza. Sure. You can do anything else. Pizza is the thing you can put in anything. And, and I know we've got Singing Hills Goat Dairy over here. They've got some really fabulous goat yogurt like you did in your spawn Yeah, we can. We can. <laughs> and later on we can make a calzone. You know the folded pizza? Okay. And then just stretch a little more. So you kind of use it. Maybe you say, because you know how to do it. <laughs> this is pretty easy. Just a little fact. Sure. Question. Dessert pizza ideas, Lorenzo. We did. I do dessert pizza. What I do, we don't have to make sure I do with the fresh food. What I do, is stretch the dough like this. Put a little olive oil on top and put the dough inside the oven. Just to cook a little bit, like a minute. Then make a little skipper. Then I put a powdered sugar in the bottom. Fresh food. Whatever you like, banana, berries, now it's berry time, and the market is a lot of berries. A lot of raspberries here today, gorgeous And um, right on top, some sugar again. If you like a little, uh, little brandy or something. A drink? Or on the pizza. pizza. Not for the kids, <laughs> for the whole. And for an hour, for another minute, and this is fantastic. I do all the time. Do you try uh, dessert pizzas at home? Yeah, they're, they're great, especially if you've already got dough and yep. you've already got your oven going. It just kind of makes sense to make a dessert pizza to finish up. Now, Lorenzo, I got another question about fresh mozzarella, because I love fresh mozzarella too. Yeah. 
Where is the best place to buy fresh mozzarella? And do you have a certain kind that we should seek out? Um, this is the pizza over there. Now the the yeast is too tough, that's why the flow. Is it because the dough has been continuously yep. rising right. here? Right, it's really clear too. So you definitely don't want to let it over rise. You got to make sure that you you. No, if it's a less heat, it's okay. This is a very high heat. That's why it's a little warm back here. Yeah. Let's put both sauces. Mushroom and sausage. Always a little olive oil on top. Health is perfect and it's better for you. Olive oil is very good for you. Especially when it's Josephine's amazing olive oil. What can we do in this thing? Usually we, do, we can have a, a spoon and olive oil every day. Help for your uh, daily routine. You know what I mean? That's your beauty routine? Yep. <laughs> yeah.
the anchovies. Now these are patent oils. Yes, I these are in the olive oil. Usually when I go in Italy, I bring with me some. And sometimes I would probably... In your pocket, with, you always got your anchovies in Sometimes I would probably with the pasta. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> That must be a true Sicilian then, if you have your yes. own anchovies everywhere you go. I, that's why I love This is very simple. Basically, in Sicily, uh, we don't even put a mozzarella on it. Anchovy, garlic, and uh, all that, uh, the black garlic. Because now, isn't that the first type of pizza that was made didn't have cheese, correct? No, never ever cheese. The pizza, the first pizza ever, ever cheese on it was uh, the margarita. It was in the 1700s, the guy who was a baker, she made an honor that the Queen Margarita, she made the speech. That would have been a good trivia question. Yeah. Who the Margarita Pizza was named after? After the Queen. Queen Margarita. Yeah. Queen Margarita. Margarita. Pizza. Yeah. 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 Y
Just put the lady with like a... The anchovies. There we go. Sometimes I put the cherry tomatoes in the oven on really low heat. For about 10 hours and dry them and then they hold better after I've dried them. How long have you had this oven? How long has this oven this been? This has been working? Yeah. Five years. Five years, okay. I'm assuming they last much longer. They last. No. I use them every weekend. Okay. So it's as hard working as you, Lorenzo. Yeah. I try to. <laughs> Most important to keep the clean, the surface clean. And what is that you're using, that tool? It's a scraper. This is just a stone scraper, some okay. powder or whatever. And now, I'm watching how you spread that out, and I know that's really important because you don't want to use a rolling pin, do you? No, I know. I, I never use one. I don't know how to use it. No, I use it when I do pasta. Okay, okay. <laughs> but I don't know if you can see kind of how he's tamping it down and spreading it out. Yes. Most important, you can leave a little bit of kitchen on the side to do a little board when you are in the Anchovy kitchen. hands? Keep them up. Thank you. If you see here, see the border on the little picture? Can you see on the side? See the lighter? Thank you so Thank much. You very much. Thank, Thank you for coming to the